player running out of rockets will be again sitting on this and ooh, hard up is uh he's chatting to his mom got a whole lot t o m h <laughs> what? something about mega health please But whatever, but GG there, really, yeah. player brought it back up from a four frag deficit to an 11 to five <laughs> final score, and player will be moving on. Well, we we have uh, we have we have a couple more maps. Let's see the next map. I believe it was D no DM13 oh, was the Too yeah okay, DM13 is next. There we go. But this is kind of interesting. Again, a map without a rail. The other one. Yeah, but I mean, obviously the rocket play from from Geo Player and the lightning gun. I I think that Geo Player definitely had a better lightning gun in that exchange. Um, there was really only one moment where Hardip just had better LG aim, and um, I think I think Geo Player probably probably has factored that in. Now I believe that this is Geo Player's map. Uh, T9 was hard ups. I think that's right. Really? That's fairly interesting. Yeah, so it's always a, an interesting mix-up one. Nice. And actually, it is. It's seeming to me that this is happening more often than not. That we see uh, the players' map picks kind of get traded as far as wins go. So I don't know. Maybe hard up will be able to bring something different here. Uh, what really, you know, gave him away in T9, of course, T9 is such a, a fast action map, and there's not a lot you can do once the landslide starts happening, but this is definitely going to afford him more space, more time to figure things out, and we're going to see that it's going on in just about 10 seconds. Of course, this is going to be DM13, one of my favorite maps, and let's see how the starts go. Hard up going straight for Mega Health. Geo player catching him because he got a rocket launcher first. Ladies and gentlemen, weapons before... <laughs> Power-ups. Weapons before power-ups. Now, yes. uh, the way that start could have gone a little bit better for Hardup, because basically he just rushed to Mega Health. He was like, I gotta get this, I gotta get this, gotta get this. Had he gone uh, the other way up the jump pad and gotten a lightning gun and a yellow armor and made his way back around for the other yellow armor, he could have shut Geo Player out of the LG. And um, that's that's a really nice play to make because especially when the lightning gun was Geo Player's best weapon. What the hell? Hard up almost getting pummeled to death. Oh man, nice trap oh, set. Yeah. yeah. So good times I right there. I think I like this Geo Player guy. Well, I I, I guess maybe I don't know. Uh, hard up no, really I getting like caught off guard there. But let's see, let's see what he can do well, on actually, the recovery. That was player I mean, he was looking over there where he would see uh, hard up going for teleporter. Oh, beautiful. Um, so he really decided to give up that position in favor of going for the gauntlet, which was, you know, an interesting choice. Did work out for an player up by two frags right now. Does finally Nothing get red connecting. armor, but taking quite Except a bit of damage. Shot. Oh, but, you know, hard up does get a few shots in, and that softened player up a bit, but that did not, not much. win hard up the mega health. I mean, as as damage goes in that position, the way the way those players are playing that, um, you know, the damage potential for hard up is so much higher and he really only hit a couple of uh, splash shots. Nothing really really crazy. Now red armor's been left up by by G1 player, GL player, I don't know. But he's able to scoop it up because hard up is just afraid to go center map uh, at the right time. And I can understand that. Now look at this. He's not even going to make a move for Mega. He doesn't have timing on it. He's just chilling. He's trying to hide. He's like, I think Mega will... I think Red Armor will show up at some point. I probably at want one of those. Point, but here's the problem. I think player is going to be showing up right about the same time. Well, actually, player might not exactly have timing on this. Red is up and player is over on LG Yellow. I think player was anticipating that Hardup was hiding, just not in the most conspicuous of places. Yeah, he's hiding on the red armor. Now that is an opportunity for Hardup to get back into this because this is his mega health <laughs> fight. He's starting this with 160 armor. So he's, he doesn't have timing though, he's gonna give it away. Now, did he stick around long enough though? That's the question, did he stick around long enough in order to hear the pickup? That's a nice initial rocket. A little bit slow on the weapon switch change and now he's in trouble. Oh man. 
so lucky. Oof. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Death from above. And apparently hard up is saying enough of this and he rages wow. out. Alrighty yeah. then. It looks like He didn't even say yeah. GG. Weak. I'm gonna just ask this guy how the fuck to pronounce his name. <laughs> Figure if we're gonna see him again later, we should probably know how to G1. He likes to go by G1 player. Okay. There we go. Now we know. So the win will go to G1 player. He's able to basically get hard up to rage quit. So that will do it for the first round. Interesting start. Yeah, they're all like, hey, Grease, do you want to cover this since the other one ended early? Like, dude, we're already on the server. We're ready to go. And they're like, oh. <laughs> I guess we need to get the players there. Shit. All right. So yeah, we got we got Nightmares Davis gonna be facing off against Rubix. Now we have a potential to see because I wanted to see Rubix versus Swoop. I think that's gonna be a really interesting matchup. That's like seriously uh, old school. Um, so should be really good times. But uh, we are gonna watch uh, see how Davis matches up against. I'm I'm of course expecting. Uh, I'm, I have an expectation, perhaps, that Rubix might win this, but we'll see. Uh, the winner of this is going to play off against Swoop, so it should be good times. And always good to see a good turnout from Clan Nightmare. In a lot of these tournaments, and they've been, you know, pretty, pretty active in a lot of things, and I, I do enjoy that level of, of, uh, Participation, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Well, just as a heads up, we do have an update that Everkill versus Gebs is currently tied. M maps one for one, and the tiebreaker is 2 7 that they're, that they're beginning now. So, yeah, just a quick bracket update. Oh, yeah, now, nice kills. <laughs> now, one one thing that I have to say, like, taking a look at the brackets, um, we have a couple of no shows. Um, I th and I think that. I mean, I'm hoping that some of these players will just show up late. And, yeah, we probably should go watch the tiebreaker if these guys aren't ready. T4 is in, DM6 is out of this map pool, by the way, guys. Just just really? so that's clear. Cool. We're not going to see any campgrounds today. That's sort of awesome. DM13, ZTN, T9. Rubix is like, you should win this one. I don't I don't really play since like 2002. Yeah, I haven't really played since 2002. <laughs> that being said, he, he did qualify. And that's that's how you suck down the lava. There you go. So yeah, it should be should be good times here. Davis versus Rubix, and as I mentioned before, we're gonna try to watch the winner of this facing off against Swoop. Now Rubix has his chance to go into the lava. 16 health. Brought down by Davis. So they're doing a little bit of warm up. Should be good times. Let's talk a little bit about this map since we have a moment before they press F3. Mega Health is right where Davis is trying to hop to. There it is. And so we'll see it spawn there. The red armor spawns here on this ledge. And now we have two yellow armors. One spawns here next to this portrait of a Q. And the other one is over here by the lightning gun. Lightning gun spawns here. Wait, Another it's only a four map there. pool? Okay, so five maps? Wow. Yeah, basically DM6 is out, T4 is in, compared to what we normally cover. So that, that kind of helps you out there. Um, now a couple things to, that we're probably going to see on this map is um, obviously the rocket launcher. This is sort of the center map. And whenever you are in this position, usually you're the dominant player trying to hold it down because a lot of times... Uh, really, in order to get to the resources, you have to come into center map in order to uh, to really do any damage. So, uh, basically, holding center and waiting for frags to come to you is a viable uh, strategy on this map. Um, on the other hand, you can, if you are sneaky about it, you can use these back passageways to get this yellow armor, and then come around and get this yellow armor, and then cycle back and get this yellow armor to get up to 150 armor before you make a big attack on either the Mega Health, which spawns here, as I mentioned, or the Red Armor here in the center. So basically, the Yellow Armors are usually your way back into the center of this uh, map. So we're basically waiting for F3s. We're seeing a lot of warm-up. 
Looks like Rubix is the last guy to press F3. Rubix